guys. Uh, sorry again about the uh, camera's full again. So uh, I'm up here downloading right now, and I thought instead of me just bitching about the uh, about the 55, I thought I'd I'd go ahead and uh, pull up a few pictures of uh, what I traded for the 55. Uh, and we'll just go through a couple here real quick while we're waiting for this to download. Um, uh, but this was my Model A. This is what I traded. So, just a second. Yeah, I'm sitting out in the driveway. Uh, I think that was pretty close to done. I think the interior had been done at that point. Uh, this car took me two years. So, let's see what else we got here. Oops. Let me see. I got some pictures of the build. Uh, so if anyone wants to see these, I got a I got a million of them. Um, let's see if I can get an early one. Oh, here's something cool. You guys might like to see. Uh, right there. <laughs> uh, I don't know if anybody can tell. This is a Norm Grabowski uh, shift knob from the 1950s. Uh, or not, I shouldn't say from the 1950s, but he was a popular hot rodder uh, in the 1950s. He did a, built a car, the 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 T-Bucket for uh, uh, Sunset Strip movie. Um, so it's pretty cool. Um, very, very expensive uh, little little trinket that I had to add to my uh, add to my car. Add it personalized. Uh, very cool guy. I talked to him on the phone. It was it was an awesome experience, uh, and I I absolutely love it. So here's some good shots. Here's another one in the driveway uh, without the hood on it, of course. You kind of see the skull up in there. Yeah, looking pretty awesome. But uh, we completely, uh, I say we, I had a little help from a buddy, um, and unfortunately uh, that didn't quite end so well. I had to bring it home before the car was completely done. You know how that goes. But uh, turned out pretty nice, I should say. Um, it's been a lot of lot of time. That's a small picture. Let's get a different one. There we go. There's a good picture. Uh, Model A. Uh, lots and lots and lots of blocking on that car. <laughs> we, uh, I wanted to redo all the seams. So here's a pretty good picture of the start. That's kind of what we started with. Um, all we were doing at this point, we had repaired the uh, the lower quarters and we were just fitting it to the chassis and it's a 1931 body we were throwing it on a 27 frame so it really wasn't supposed to fit but uh, that was all part of the fun here's a picture that I like right here <laughs> it's one of my favorite pictures of that car uh, I thought that was pretty cool uh, uh, let's see there's another picture. That's after the chop top. We handmade the firewall. This is before we suicided the doors and got rid of the hinges. Uh, this is before a lot, but you can kind of see some of the progress. The car was original Model A. Found it local here. Um, Pro Street car. There's a good picture of the back. The rack top back. Collector plates. Um, Everything was either polished, uh, powder coated, or chrome um, on the frame, and then uh, the paint was PPG. That's all he used. So we were going to try and do the uh, PPG and uh, Hot Wheels collaborated uh, uh, build, and that was why we kind of went with these really flashy colors for the flames. They're candy, candy colors, and. Uh, 
we didn't get the car done so so I didn't even get to uh, attempt but you know that's that's model A and just to uh, you know going to, to what I'm dealing with now on the 55 I'm glad that I uh, enjoy the work because uh, man I, I don't know I'm a little upset but uh, you know I guess that's what you do it's my own fault so I don't blame anybody or anything like that but there's a picture of it in the garage but uh, yeah so I just wanted to clarify that, that took me two years like I said and uh, a lot of sweat um, yeah here's uh, one of my buddies right there helping me uh, so we redid all the welds in the car redid all the radiuses in the car uh, we were fitting the, the uh, slider right there so all steel no no fiberglass anywhere um, top notch it was a nice car so uh, I think this is a long enough video uh, sitting here bragging talking about the Model A but you know uh, talking to Matt and uh, and a few of the other guys on uh, on YouTube Darren I think I've mentioned it before this was a good guys uh, here Northwest Nationals about three years ago um, that was before I put the radials on it I'm just looking at the picture but uh, yeah I've mentioned it a few times uh, James Freddie and and you guys I've, I've mentioned my Model A and so here's some pictures of it unfortunately I didn't get to show you real life real time um, didn't didn't get you to, to hear it run but uh, that, that was that was the last project and the 55 will hopefully turn out even better than this one so I just wanted to uh, to put that out there alright guys hope you're having a good day it's getting late and uh, I'm gonna get get this downloaded uploaded uploaded <laughs> Darren having to correct himself also <laughs> that's for you buddy <laughs> um, but uh, yeah so we'll get this uploaded the other one should be uploaded now and uh, and we will chat at you guys uh, later on alright guys talk to you later